Paradise Springs Winery is just 26 miles from D.C. in Clifton, Virginia. I met up with the owner, Kirk, to taste some wine and brush up on my sommelier skills. Hey, Kirk. How's it going, man? Good. How you doing? Good to see you again. How's everything? Good to see you, Thanks too. Thanks for coming out. What's happening out here today? Not much. We're doing some wine tastings, having a glass of wine, and uh, having a good time. You so. say wine tastings? Yeah. You want to do one? That's what I want to do. Yeah, I got you all set up in the cabin. Let's cool. go. Cool. All right. Awesome, let's man. go. Paradise Springs is a family-run winery. We've been here on the land since 1716. We recently won the Virginia Governor's Cup for the best white wine in the state for our Chardonnay. Kirk. I am so happy to have a friend like you that knows about wine. Absolutely, thanks for coming out today. So um, we're gonna teach you a little bit how to taste wine and uh, a little bit about the winery here. And um, you know, let's get to it, I guess. Now you know I drink, well, you know I drink. Uh, but you know <laughs> I eat out at all these fancy restaurants and to tell you the truth, I do not know how to work with the sommelier. Sure. I have no idea. So I want you to teach me everything you know Yeah. so I can really impress them. Perfect. Well, the first wine we start off with is our 2010 Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. It's probably the one we're most known for here. Um, the previous yeah, vintage won actually awards, won, right? Yeah, the Virginia Governor's Cup. Okay. Um, so they signify one wine each year as the best wine in the state of Virginia. Um, and last September, we actually won that award. So you did the swirl. Tell, what, what is this, the swirl? So it's one of those things where when you first open a bottle of wine, it'll mm -hmm. allow the wine to breathe just a little bit. By getting oxygen onto the wine, it kind of opens up some of the aromatics and fruit flavors that are there. So okay. just something I'm trained to do. I okay. always just kind of so swirl. So swirl opens it up. Do you so, do the sniff after? Yeah, you can smell. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a, a person has two different or many different senses um, okay. and smell and taste um, are different senses that can affect the way that you perceive this wine. Okay. Um, and so just by smelling first, you get a different perception than what your taste buds will actually I want to taste it. Taste. Well, that's, what, that's what we're here for, so. Mmm. Oaky apple -y. Yeah, no, yeah. and that's exactly what yeah. this wine's supposed to be. Yeah. Is, um, we try to give it a little bit of fruit forwardness to it, um, not be big, overly oaky, buttery like a California wine, but do it more uh, Virginia stylistic, and um, you know, and then give it that nice toast to the back end, still mm -hmm. allows for a little bit of creaminess. Let me it. ask you something: What's with the people that you see spitting out the wine at the wine tasting? You know, because um, I'm not going to waste up your good wine. <laughs> your family has worked hard and long for me to come here and get drunk <laughs> on these premises. Yeah, I and I'm not going to waste it. I appreciate it. Well, okay. you, know, you have a lot of people who taste a lot of different wines in a day. You have wine critics, um, mm -hmm. wine competitions where people are judging. Um, restaurant uh, and sommeliers who taste through different wines for their list sometimes will taste okay. 30, 40, 50 wines in a day. So it's an on-the-job thing. It's an on-the-job thing. So if you're not trying to swallow each of those and get drunk, um, but spitting is perfectly acceptable because you're still able to fulfill all those flavors um, that the wine see, has. That's my religion, Kirk. Drink, I'm not going to so. do it. <laughs> so the Chardonnay is awesome. I see why you won the awards. And what does this pair well with? You know, um, this will pair well with more creamy cheeses um, and uh, it's kind of shellfish and seafood okay. um, will work well with it as well. Uh, things on the grill. Um, so, you know, it, because it's, you know, a little more fruit forward, it goes with, with those type of things. Uh, but because um, it does have that slight toast in the back end, they're, you know, creamy type of foods and, and grilled foods will do really well with okay, it. Okay, excellent. And That's what's right. next? All, All right. right. So the next one we'll pour actually is our 2010 Viognier. Now is this aged in oak or in, in the tanks? It is aged in oak. It's a little, it's slightly less oaky than the Chardonnay. We do this in what's called a neutral barrel. Um, after a barrel has been used for a certain number of years, um, it won't impart as much oak onto the wine. Ooh. So it kind of really brings the Wakes me up. Aromatics. All right, I like this Viognier. I'm feeling very full. Well, the next one we're gonna try, I'm actually really excited about. Um, it's our Nana's Rosé. Mm -hmm. um, and we do this with 100% Merlot grapes. Bananas everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Down the hatchy. Absolutely. Mmm. God, what a waste. Or drink it. <laughs> <laughs> it's upsetting. All right, so we're going on to our reds here. Cheers. Cab Franc. Cab Franc. These are actually uh, wine crackers, so if you want to try one of these, they actually will coat your palate and cleanse your palate and clear you for the next wine. Kirk, I feel like you're not drinking them as much as me. <laughs> mm -mm. When you give a lot of wine tastings in a day, you can't drink every one, so. <laughs> wine tasting is fun. It is fun. It should be fun, you know? People mm -hmm. come out here to have a good time, and there's no reason to make it stuffy. That's awesome. So Paradise Springs, a place to come, taste the wines buy the wines, have a good time with your friends. Absolutely. Friend. Whether you know everything about wine or nothing about wine, um, come out and we'll teach you everything you need to know. Next up, the wild times of R.J. Cooper. If you don't get anything done, you'll be dead before you're 50. 